Welcome back to Great Day Washington. We are about to experience some Friday fun with one of the world's most celebrated illusionist, Rob Lake. He is joining us now live in studio to share more about his upcoming show in our area. Rob, thank you so much for being here. Welcome hey, to Great Day Washington. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. This it's great to be back in studio again, isn't it? I know. That's got to be nice for you. I saw some of your videos through the pandemic when you were like, theaters are empty They right were, now. absolutely. We had to go virtually for a few years. Wow. Um, for you, this started early on. When did you discover that you were actually talented and good at magic? I started as a kid when I was 10 years old. I saw a magic show and I knew exactly what I would do with my entire life. Really? Yeah. All from that? You hadn't even tried it yourself. You just saw it. Yeah, I saw it on stage know. and I said, I just knew. It's almost like I was downloaded with this instruction manual that this is my goal in life. And I just knew and I dove right wow. in. You could kind of dissect what he was doing. No, not at all. No. I, I, oh, was, okay. I was overcome with a sense of wonder and enchantment yeah. and joy and I just loved it. I said, that's what I want to do. I want to keep wow. this feeling alive and share it with others. Wow. So you kind of got into it then. When did it really become your career? So when I was 20 years old, I dropped out of college to do this full time and have never really wow. looked back. You were, you did an incredible run on America's Got Talent. Thank what you. was that like for you? That was a rush. It was exhausting. Yeah. It was a blast, but uh, I got to perform my illusions in front of millions and millions of people all around the world. Did you have all of those already set up? You were mm -hmm. telling me you were on tour at yeah. that, so you weren't creating things just No, no, they actually TV. selected, the producers selected certain segments from my existing show You're for kidding. their show. Yeah. They told you what they wanted? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. I mean, wow. it, was, it was a little bit mutual, but no, they knew what they wanted for their show. Yeah. Um, did it help as far of your touring more or you were already booked we point. were booked solid in fact I had yeah. to cancel show dates to be able to film with them for that show wow wow um for you going out and being in an audience now that we can do it again oh, what's it's that wonderful. feeling like yeah you know we did virtual shows I converted my my warehouse into a sound stage so for the last two years I was performing virtual shows for a camera with no audience and you know how that feels but you know yeah. when you yeah. have an audience in the room it makes all the difference and it feels yes. so good it feels like going home again being on stage well you have a lot of audience participation which is the thing that makes me nervous at magic shows. <laughs> I'm always like, do not pick me, do not pick me. Sure. So how do you do that if there's no crowd, right? Uh, we, we had to be very creative for the last few years and create yeah. tricks that, you know, didn't have to have people in person. Wow. Now, where do you go from here? I mean, you've al are you always working on new things? I feel like you've mastered everything. Sure. You know, I was actually supposed to perform my show on Broadway before the pandemic hit. Wow. So, so I'm, as long as I love doing this, there's always yeah. new ventures and new exciting places to go, which is why I'm True. glad to be here this weekend. Yes, yes, you are here this weekend, Hollywood Resort Casino. Yep, and Charlestown Races. Yep. Okay, all right, one Tomorrow show, night. Saturday night. Yes, and can a few you, tickets left. Can you give us a little preview of maybe, would you do card tricks I can, there? I can, I can, yep, for us I brought today. a card trick okay. just for you. All right. Now I'm going to take one card and put it out here as my prediction. You can see there's just one card here. Yes. Uh, we'll make sure we can see that can here. Can we take that? Uh, yep, we'll just move it to the side. We'll right here in the middle of the table. Step. Perfect. Just one card there. No one's going to touch it. And you asked me about virtual. So I'm going to show yeah. you how I would have done this if it was virtually. Okay. I'm going to pretend to hand you these cards. Okay, thank you. I want you, you to check them out, examine them. <laughs> Got to take them out of the box first. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and shuffle them. Thank you. Yep. Okay. And I want you to pick one card out of your deck. You're yeah. kidding. You, you, pick, you pick one card. So I mentally need to pick one. Okay. No, just pull it out and oh, show oh, the camera. Oh, oh. Show the camera. Okay. Don't let me see it. All <laughs> Here right. you guys go. And just so you don't forget the card, turn it upside down. That way, if you see it again, you'll remember it. And put it back in the deck upside down. Up, upside down. And shuffle it one more time. This is weird. <laughs> it is, absolutely. <laughs> Trying to make a living doing virtual magic. Okay, I <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you And I'll take that. this back. Okay. Now, we didn't prearrange this. We chatted a little bit before I came on air, but we didn't yeah. prearrange this. I didn't ask you to pick any card. You oh, could no. have chosen one out of 52 cards, 54 yeah. if we count the Jokers, but we won't. Okay. And there's one card here on this table. This is my prediction. How oh, amazed no. would you be if this prediction is correct? <laughs> Very amazed, yeah. since we didn't even touch cards. Correct. Uh, was your card the four of clubs, yes or no? No. No. <laughs> oh! Was I close? I, it was the king of hearts. King of hearts, yeah. really? Yeah. You're kidding. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. That's all right. That. But you oh, remember, oh, I, asked, I, asked you, I asked you to do something. Oh. Um, it wasn't the uh, Joker, but I asked you to do yeah. something to, so you'd see your card, you'd recognize it. Do you remember what I asked you to do? Um, to shuffle them? Put it, oh, put it the other direction. And you'll notice there's one no. card. No. Upside down. Take that out. No. Turn that over. No. Do you see this? Can't, no. Rob. <laughs> It's magic. Wow. 
That's impressive. Thank you. Thank you, Rob, for joining us today. You got to go see him tomorrow, Saturday night. You can see Rob at Hollywood Casino. It starts at 8 p.m. It's at the Hollywood Casino in Charlestown, West Virginia. No way.